Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about the arc length. So now I will show you how to answer. First, we need to find first the derivative of RT. So first, the derivative of cos t, we have negative sin t. This one that is about cos t. This one that is about negative sin t over cos t. Next, we use the formula of the arc length. That is about the integration from a to b and we have the square root so we put first the derivative of s to the power of 2 that is in here first the derivative of y to the power of 2 that is in here and the last one that's about z to the power of 2 that is in here and we have dt so a that is about number zero b that is about b over four this one that is about negative side t this one that is about cos side t this one that is about negative side t over cos side t So this one we have side t squared, this one we have cos side t squared, and this one that is about side t squared over cos side t squared. We know that this one equals to number 1. This one we change by tan t squared. So 1 plus tan t square, we have secant of t square. The square root of this one from the power from 0 to b over 4. This is about positive for secant of t because we need to turn from into the absolute value of secant of t. So in here, this one is still about positive for the range or for the domains from 0 to b over 4 and we can cancel the absolute value the integration of secant of t we have ln of the absolute value of secant of t plus tan t and we put the bounds from 0 to b over 4 And now we have the final answer. So I will put b over 4 going here. And here. Number 0 going here. And here. This one we have number 1. This one we have number 0. This one we have number one this one we have the square root of number two ln number one you got zero and this is the final answer that is the end thank you for watching